All right, yeah, so I'm getting ready to pack up. I'm moving the hell out this hell hole. You know, at first, it's like it's not too bad. I can deal with it. But man, when they don't care about your safety, when your room was got broken into, when you're being harassed every day by homeless, it's no excuse. So I'm going to show you all that. I don't feel this property is up to the standards for Wyndham at all. At all. And I've been a Wyndham member for several years. I am Goldwood Hilton. I'm Platinum with Best Western and Diamond with Choice. So I take my status that I have and right now I'm about to be the level above Platinum because I'm Platinum now so the next level Diamond. And I take this very seriously when you have these issues it shouldn't be going on. So this is the La Quinta Inn at 630 Sycamore Avenue in Vista. I have taken videos of how many times I've had to go um, get the front desk involved, get security, even the police, about people trying to break in my room, about homeless people loitering on the property, sitting in a stairwell, smoking weed, urinating, harassing me. I mean, it's, it's too much. You have a lot of suspicious activity going on in this property. I read the reviews online, and a lot of folk are saying the same thing. So come on, we're going to have to do better here. And the fact that the agency paid all this money for me to stay here, and this is what I have to deal with. I have to deal with um, almost being put out in my hotel room, even though my reservation was paid for. Knocking on my door, banging on my door, trying to cause a scene. Like I'm in the wrong when my agency paid for this. And every time I stay here at this hotel, they send a credit card authorization. And they keep lying to me, telling me we don't have it. So then I go back to the um, agency North County Lifeline, and they say, no, we sent it over. Then magically they find it. I get calls from the front desk. Uh, are you are you checking out today? You know, my reservation's been extended. Why don't you look for the form? I mean, it gets to the point where I go through this. They don't want to clean your room. I ask to have my room clean. Nobody come clean it. I wait, I wait, I call. Because of what's going on, you have to schedule it. So I'm the one that keeps this room clean. I don't have roaches or mice or bed bugs. But a lot of these folk here do, according to what they've wrote. You know, and I believe it. I've already had to kill two bugs the other day. And I'll show you why. Okay, so I'm parking up. You see that opening right there? This, you're supposed to have a door flap here. Because that prevents noise. It prevents traffic. It prevents bugs. Now you can look at this carpet and tell. They haven't steam cleaned this carpet in a very long time. That's why I don't step on it, you know, without having shoes on and thing like that. So, but I keep the room. I've been in here for a couple of weeks. They only come clean it once or twice. You have to like pull teeth. You ask for tissue. You know what they tell you? One roll. You know, thing like this may not seem like a big issue, but that's something easy to fix. And I'm pretty sure it might be some carpet uh, in people's room look worse than that. But what I'm saying is that you have issue. You need to fix these things. Look at the sink here. You know, you see that? That's rust, that's calcium, that's mold. All kind of nasty shit growing up right through here. I mean, this is disgusting. This is where you expect me to get water from. Look at that. You know, this here was black. See, I scrubbed it clean. This inside here, I should have left it. But you can see a little bit of it still. It was all black, it was nasty. All right, so you're supposed to have uh, this thing working. This is rust. You're not supposed to be breathing in all this rust. Then on top of that, it's a fire sprinkler. It's not working because where's the sprinkler? So it's a fire hazard right there. You're supposed to have that fixed. Let's come here in the shower area. Oh, man, you can see all that filth and gunk up there. Look, same thing here. So let's check the shower head. Shower head look like it newly been... Not too bad, not a lot of calcium rust. You can easily clean that. I've tried to, but I don't know. Maybe we need to get some CRL. Um, I'm going to show you about the top. A lot of people have said this. You run the water. You know, you want to take a shower. You expect the water to go down the drain. I'm going to let this run so you all can see it. So the water, you know, it's supposed to go down the drain. I'm going to let this run. Because most of the time the water don't go down the drain. That means when you shower and the dirt and everything coming off your body, you're gonna be standing in it. Look, right here, you know. Okay, so maybe I'll turn on the shower, you guys can see it even more. Like, 
There is a tray and it's, not, it's up, so if the water can go down, it's supposed to go down. I'm gonna let that run for a little bit. And you, well, you can see it right there, how the water's piling up. And it's not going down. I'm gonna let that run for a little bit. You can see how high it gets. So let me show you here. See, this is my scrub brush. This is the thing. I have my bone spray to keep this place clean. Cause they don't come. You know, or they tell me, give me attitude. I guess because they feel like I'm on a hotel voucher that they tell me, oh, well, our guest check and I'll have more priority, more precedent than you. So that's really messed up. So you can see the water. Maybe you can't see it that good. But yeah, it will take forever for it to go down. I'm going to let this run and we come back and see what's happening. You know how I got most of this water to go down? How it sit there? You take the, um, I take that toothbrush. Let me show you the toothbrush that I actually use, an old toothbrush. But I take this toothbrush, and that's how I snake the drain every day. So I don't have the water sitting up around on me, you know. All right, let me call it back on you. I can see we'll come back in a moment. I don't know. No one me of laying here. So you see all this here? You know, this is rust. This is nasty. They need to get that. Now, I came in this room in February. It kind of cold at night. I'll show you this, this thing right here. So you're supposed to be able to change the temperature. I got it on heat. Let's change it to low. Let's raise it a little bit. Oh, the heat barely fucking work. Many nights, I was in here cold. Cold. You know, you're paying for a stay. Let's go over here, see if you hear anything, come on. Nothing. Now, I already checked the filters. Because at first, like, every time I turn on the AC, I get sick. So I checked the filters. The filters don't seem to be in bad condition. You know. The fact that uh, you can't open these windows. Now, I did see one person with their window open, so... I'm not fooling with it. Now let's show you this. Oh God, look at this curtain here. Man, this is nasty. Look at this hair, stain everywhere. I mean, you post a cowboy property now. And the day rate is seven to five a day to be staying here. And, oh, come on, this is ridiculous. So as you can see, these are the window here. You know, some people have the window open. After so much of breaking mine, I'm not going in there, nowhere at all. You know, but it's hard to get fresh air. And also the thing too, let's move that nasty curtain. I like to know who the hell thought that these see-through blinds was see-through uh, shades was a good idea. Because you can see out, everyone can see it, and I've tested it. You can walk right past and see everything going on in here. So are you kidding me? I can't even get fresh sunlight, sunshine, fresh air, you know? So, let me see, you can see all the filter in here. You know, come on, this thing old. Look at that, look how old it is. Look how old this thing is, you know. The rooms, is like, they kept the same old carpet for years, you know. This, I don't know, it's old as hell. But, you know, you first move in, it's like, okay, not too bad. Look at my door. See this here? If I don't have the deadbolt on, there's actually a gap between the door. And if you don't pull it real close, it will be open. So, again, at first I was like, you know, the room not too bad. There's a couple of things, you know, I may want to change, but still. Let me show you the refrigerator. I like to keep my food in here. But the thing I noticed with this thing is that it either freezes my food. Yeah. Cause look at how this is frozen. I have to keep it cold, but I don't want it all frozen. So you know, it's been doing not. So again, at first you're like, yeah, not too bad things, but don't few things are serious. And I've been coughing and sneezing in this room. So yeah, you can see now you hear the water and you see it going down the drain. It's a bit of a pile up, but trust me, it was a lot worse. You can hear it going down. That's how it's supposed to be. 
I had to snake that drain with the toothbrush to get it like that. So, hmm, am I satisfied with this day? I have to say no. Because I have gone to management so many times. And I feel like, why can't you just get security to do uh, rounds? Why can't you get camera? Let me show you. So if they would fix those few things, you know. I don't know how the people carpet is. Mine not too bad. A little shaggy over there. But it's not, it's not uh, too, too bad. But you can tell a good cleaning. You know, you can see it. Wouldn't be a bad thing at all. You know, and I shouldn't be told to just call the police every time I catch a homeless person. So let's see her. See, I know it's a kid, but do not disturb. So tell me why they thought it was a good idea to disturb me. Knocking on my door, talking about, oh, you didn't pay for your stay. I'm like, you're kidding me. I always pay. So these are the hallways. There's a property, a mini hallway. Them lights never work. This is where they like to sit. You know, all through here. Every night you come out. So this here, you can see it's not unusual to have trash lying around. Happens all the time. So most of the time it gets filled up. So I like to come out here and see right around on this side is where I like to stand the smoke across the street where the little rocks are. Except for I get harassed. Now you can see now, see right across the street, what the homeless do. They hop that wall and they come over here. And the property manager know it because even the staff told me, yeah, they had issues with them trying to break in the rooms. Or see over here, they come straight through from that um, gas station and everything. So I wouldn't come out here. And I, once I kept getting harassed down here, and I kept noticing that cars was like, see how this car come out and turn? No, when I would come out here and be standing out here, it would be a car that would pull up and sit right there while I'm trying to smoke, while I'm trying to relax up here. Because I got tired of kept going down there and getting harassed every fucking day. Homeless person coming up to me, begging me for money, begging for change, bothering me, coming on the property. You should have a camera. You know, it's a long way, so it's multiple ways that you can come up, you can come down. It's not hard. So I told him, I said, you have to do better. And personally, I don't see why they don't have damn camera. You can see right now, look, one leaving just now. See what I'm saying? Look at this shit. You know, there's no camera up here. Nothing. So many stairway. One time a guy, look at that. And then uh, see that ice machine, all of this thing, you clean that. Get that out. I'm walking here, and just like that guy was there, he was harassing me here. I stand right out here and smoke. He harassed me, he followed me. I had to walk this way. And the guy followed me all the way to the front desk. So you can see multiple stairways, which then created an issue. Now this back area, as I told the property manager before, this is where they like to sit out here. And they sit out here, it's dark, you know, and you can't see them. So when you come out, or even if someone had to walk to their room, it's very dark back here. You know, I wouldn't want to be in a room back here. So you need better lighting, for sure. You know, because the issue that you have going on, you shouldn't have these issues here. And this back area is like part of town. Every morning I would come out right here, and there's always some homeless person don't belong on a property coming up to me, harassing me. That's not a good way to start your day off. And then imagine you have to walk this long way all the way to the front desk to tell them, you know what, you have people on your property harassing your guests. That's not cool. So I did the walk through to show you. You know, you can see the ground right here. I mean, you may say, okay, little thing, but when you're paying your money to stay at a hotel, you want to make sure that they are making sure that their guests are not only happy but safe. You know, so if the staff know about these issues and the property manager know about these issues, why are you still be having these issues here? And so I read the reviews and people are talking about oh, drug dealing, prostitution, all kind of low life behavior. I believe it. I definitely believe it, you know, because look at what's going on. You know, most of the time, this is right where they sit. In fact, when I'm on my way to report their ass right to the front desk, this is exactly where they be sitting. You know, look at this here. Oh boy. Water everywhere. Yep, 
so that's why I had to make that move and make that change because I say ain't no way in hell every time you turn around it's always somebody trying to come on the property to fuck with you like you can see right here this is the main area that I stand smoke there's the Burlington across the street is the fire station you got a grocery store down the street uh, there's a Target there's a Walmart so you have a full array and this is how you catch them every time you know you can look at that there I'll show you all that water on the ground it shouldn't be like that for my ice machine so I think that you know they have to do a better job with the upkeep of this property I am not satisfied I've paid for about three weeks stay here and every day I tell them you know you have these folk coming out here that's crazy just like I already had two on the video one guy on the bike I guess he thought he was gonna come here because you notice when he see me recording he roll off there he go right over there then another guy he roll up you know I mean it's a name you can't even come outside your your own room to enjoy yourself without being harassed so this is the Burlington where it's shut down but there's always they're camping out right there uh, they're camping out under the bridge and that wouldn't be so bad, but you know, you don't have the right to do that to folk. So that's why I just hope this get resolved. Let's see. You know, I guess they couldn't take this out because it's been sitting here for days. I didn't know press the elevator. Hmm, okay. So now I'm going to go back uh, um, so I can finish parking up. But yep, I true hair. You see. So that's the thing. If they ain't taking care of their thing, it can't be mod and expect a full reach. And then you got nerve knocking on the damn door. Are you crazy? You know, what are you doing that for? Because you already know you don't belong there. Carla. I don't know. Carla. So, we'll see. But they're going to give me my damn money back. Carlota. Your mother. Hey, you see what I mean? Low life. So, oh Lord, there we go. What you say? I was looking for Nick. Oh, okay, Nick ain't here. See what I'm saying? It's a tweaker right there. Going room to room looking for someone. You see, I came right in my room. But yeah, you see that shit right there? That person don't know anyone, and they're going from room to room calling some Nick. They're tweaking. They're trying to get drugs. That woman look crazy. That's why I say, what did you say to me? Because I don't need you walking past my room when I'm trying to get in. You know, that's why I keep this recorder. Yeah, I look at that an adventure. Y'all seen we we just went on an adventure that fast. So this is here. The phone. Now when I call the front desk, that half the time they don't answer. You know, when someone was trying to break in my room, they didn't answer. I had to call from my regular phone. And then they answered. And you know what? I recorded it. I recorded it. And also on that recording, I proved that they kept saying um, it was time for my leave on the 13th of this uh, April. No, my stay had actually been, because they do it by weekly increments, from April the 7th to April the 14th. So on April the 13th, because I checked the reservation from my phone, would the front desk be banging on my door? Like, you didn't pay. You need to come to the front desk right now. What are you talking about? I show them the reservation. Oh, you know, no, it's, no apology, no try to make it right. Y'all wrong for this shit here. You know, try to illegally evict me and try to blame the agency for it. And you just saw for yourself. All that needed to be seen. Did we not just see two homeless people on the property, one leaving the property, one trying to come on the property, and one walking all the third one walking all around the fucking property, calling for Nick, going in pe people window and shit coming in my door. What the hell is wrong with your folk? Like y'all just seen that right on the door. Why would I be trying to get into my door and there's a person standing there tweaking, calling out for Nick? And, you know, she clearly saw me with the phone, so come on now. You know, they don't care. They're looking to get high. They're looking to steal. 
It's a good thing that when I do leave out, I'm packing my stuff up. When I leave out, I leave the radio on. I leave the TV on. So you see I cut the heat on. Do y'all hear anything going? Not a damn thing. Let's see. And look, it's on. It's 73. It's on low. It's on heat. Well, let's see. Maybe we make a higher. Well, I change. Let's bump it up. All right. We got the heat up. Okay, now we have something. Yeah, it's working. Apparently it works when it wanna work because many nights I was in here cold and I was doing the same thing. And a lot of folks say not online, so it can't be all, you know, misinformed or just making something up. See, the issue is this hotel gets a lot of business from motel vouchers. And they feel like they can do whatever they want to you and treat you any kind of way. Because here's the thing. If a hotel come to you and say, uh, you're on a voucher, that you have to get out, you have to leave, who are you going to call? Like, seriously, who are you going to call to say, um, no, this is not true? Because most of the people that pay for your hotel voucher, they work Monday through Friday, and they like to make sure over the weekend that you're set up and that you're okay. So too many inconsistencies here. For sure. And I have stayed here many times. In fact, I even had a free night. And I came here and I used that 15,000 points. So at first base value, I'm like, okay. Two uh, beds. You know, you have a table. You can do work. And stuff like that. You have a fridge and microwave. Okay, you have TV. Not a bad deal. But when you have what's going on outside affecting the inside. When you have... I recorded how they partied in this room so loud that the wall vibrated the only way I could not hear their crap was to take my phone and put it up here and let it play because I didn't want to disturb my neighbor on the other side you know that's not right not at all you know so I'm just looking at this light here I don't well this must be the design this crack design but um I definitely would have a health inspector come here we we'll have a lot of inspectors come here because you got some criminal activity going on and it seemed like the property retaliated against me for speaking up. Now the difference today, I'm going to be honest with you, I, um, I'm staying at Hilton. I'm not tell you which Hilton, but I'm staying at Hilton. And when I was sitting outside smoking and I saw that a man had came up in his car, hold on, and he's sitting in a car. And it didn't, people sit in a car here all the time, and it make you wonder. In fact, there's always somebody sitting outside in their car, like right underneath my room here. So at the Hilton, I'm smoking, I sit on a bench, and I noticed that, why did the guy just pull up, and he's just sitting in the car, like he's not getting out? That doesn't sound right. So I went to the uh, maintenance man. You know, and this guy of all the parking space, I feel like all the parking spaces in the world that you can park at, you're going to park like literally across from me. That make me feel really uncomfortable. So I go to the security and I ask the guy, I said, um, this orange car here, this person is not a guest. I'm out here. They pull up immediately, you know, right across from me and they're just sitting there and they're not a guest. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And sure enough, he said, I've told this guy several times to leave. I said, I believe you, because a lot of times they don't leave a kid coming back. I said, well, let's talk to the property manager so she can understand. You can't be having this here. So I'm a gold member. You know, I've been staying there two days in a row, $140 a day. Well, I have the double point rate, so that's not bad. It's a whole suite, okay? This is eight to five a day where I'm staying at would have been like 130 so a little bit more but oh my god twice the space and value and service do you know that this property manager came immediately out there and handled the situation with security they removed the guy and the next time he on a property they can call the police or I will call the police you know and the property manager they can back me but here I don't get that same feeling because when I did come in the lobby with the security one night to tell them there's guys out there he was sitting down watching TV. You're supposed to be doing patrols. Why don't you have a security camera here? This is to protect your property, to protect your guests. 
and you know some of your long-term residents because I, let me tell you something there's a law 28 days you cannot stay in a hotel or hostel for more than 28 days without having to check out for a few days and come back because then you establish residency and then you know I look on the sex offender registry because I said, why are all these homeless guys harassing me, man? This shit is annoying. Even the guests that come in, they want to, you know, hit on you and harass you. And I'm like, you don't know what I'm here for? Well, apparently a couple people do know that I'm here with North County Lifeline. Now, if you don't know about North County Lifeline, they are an agency to help people get away from domestic violence and human trafficking. So either way of them reasons why I'm here, it's nobody's business. But when I go in the lobby... You know, the people at the front desk sometimes, lawyer will be like, oh, it's North County Lifeline, or they didn't pay, or this on the third. People are walking through, they hear. I don't need everyone to hear that I'm on a voucher for one, and for two, that who's paying it, because people can put two and two together. I don't want to be targeted. I'm a single woman by myself. So after they try to break in my room, after I couldn't get nobody on the phone, and I called the police, I got a storage down the street, and I'm about to move, finish moving my stuff. So I'm in school. I have a lot more stuff that I would have in here. But, you know, that's my computer. And I am pretty much got my shopping cart, moving my stuff right down the street to the storage. So because I'm not going to feel safe, even if I thought about staying here tonight, which I did. Look at that person walking up and down. Look at how on this video I already caught two people. You know, that's, that's actually uh, surprising because it would be a lot more. You know, and they be sitting right outside my door, right in that stairway. You see the close proximity from my door to the stairway. I'm only three doors, two doors away from the stairway. And so they like, so you always have to make sure your door is shut. And these doors are not hard to break in. I mean, think of it. When nobody's in here, they don't have that lock. A couple quick kicks, that thing will be done. So now I turn the air on and you can, you can hear the air. So I don't know, but there's no way that people are saying all this thing about their room, and it's got to be true. I noticed a few things around my room, you know, and you look at it, maybe there's a little uh, maintenance issue. Well, maintenance got to step up. I noticed people around here, like, leave their room, they're open, and they said, the uh, maintenance man go around whistling, and I see them do it. He walking around, you know, like, well... If you open your door, you should call the police, you know. But you shouldn't have to be calling the police on stuff like this here. So, hi, yeah, yeah, I tell ya, I tell ya, I tell ya, I don't know. But there's just, uh, safety is, is a must. And when you have guests here that are on a voucher, whether you have guests here that are paying with their credit card or using points, because I've done it all, except use my funds. I'm not, and I'm not going to use my reward points here ever again, because it's a setup. I just showed you all, you know, all this stuff. So, do you see any security? No, but you saw a lot of trash. Do you see any security cameras? No, but you saw a lot of homeless people. If they had a person that patrolled every 30 minutes, you know, don't be cheap. Spend the money to keep your guests safe. And many times, the police have had to come here to this hotel. You can look it up on uh, Google, on Yelp, the whole nine. But that's why I'm making this video, because it's a shame. And I really think changes must be made. Um, if I had more time, I'd get that mold test. But, you know, you can see, look at the carpet. Not been cleaned. Not been cleaned, you know, at all. So, this don't make no sense. At, when you first, at first glance, it don't seem like there's anything wrong with the room. And that's how I felt the first week or two, which is why it stayed here so long. But when you got people trying to break in your room, harassing you, doing all this shit trash everywhere you're having an issue getting your room clean look ain't no tally paper because you have to only get one roll at a time that's crazy when you know they have a stock room in fact i saw big stocks of tally paper oh we only can give you one roll but if you have a room you're supposed to get an extra roll so if i if the housekeeper would come that means i would be getting two rolls and my tissue they hardly ever do that shit and you're supposed to have it where at least once a week, if a person long term, you have to go in that room and deep clean it. You have to clean it. You got to protect your property. So that's why I keep it clean. You know, you can see 
I wiped everything down because I'm getting the hell out of here. But you got to keep your place clean. Your floors, all of that. That's why I had that scrub brush. I would scrub my own floors, get a rag and wipe it off. You know, and I'll show you the stuff that I buy. Because nobody want to keep going to the front desk for some damn toilet paper. I mean, every day, come on now. That's too much right there. That is too much. Looking for that bag that I have. I can show ya. Yep, pocket my thing and rolling off out of here now. You know, because it don't make no sense. And then I have to say this here. Now I know with this coronavirus, they have to shut the pool down. They don't have a gym here. They don't have a laundry. At least have a laundry, you know, for your guests. I've never encountered where, you know, even Motel 6 have laundry. And I thought that you have people here.